Good morning from the Q17. I'm here with two great Western Pleasure riders, Karen Prevedel and Mark Schaffer. Karen, can you tell me how you did so far at the show in the Western Pleasure? Well, first of all, I started off showing my three-year-old for the first time in the circuit Green Western Pleasure. It was kind of a difficult class in the small arena with the conditions of the rain and whatnot. Quite a few horses, but she did really well. She really showed for me. I was very pleased. Sounds really good. What about you, Mark? Uh, I showed uh, two horses so far, and uh, one I'm uh, Hot Crimson, and uh, he won the, the maturity, the NSBA maturity, and also uh, showed a horse uh, Swing Better Better, and she won the Junior Pleasure last night. So, am I a Hot Crimson that you won the NSBA maturity with was bred by Karen, and in the past you've had many horses that were bred by Karen that you were really successful with. Can you give me a rough number, Karen? How many were they? Uh, a rough, a rough idea would be between four and five. I'm not 100% sure, but it would be somewhere around there. Okay, great. Um, is there something all of those horses that were bred by Karen have in common? Uh, yes. Uh, number one, they're they're all bred very well. Um, not only are they they have good sires, but um, there's a strong bottom side on all the horses and. Um, they uh, obviously come uh, from a program where they're very safe, they're very quiet, um, they're, they're basically broke uh, when they leave uh, Karen's ranch. So I think overall it's a, it's a good breeding program and a, and a very good horsemanship type program. So you two are doing Western Pleasure quite frequently and this is a really controversial discipline. What is your opinion on the evolution of the class in Europe? Uh, I think really the the evolution uh, from the last five years, it's uh, the level has really uh, stepped up. Not only in the talent of the horses and the quality of the horses, but um, the training programs. All of the training programs throughout Europe have really stepped up uh, to another level. So, Karen, you're one of the biggest breeders in Europe, one of the most successful in the DQHA fraternity for 20 years probably. Can you give me your opinion on the Western Pleasure and on the DQHA fraternity? I also have to agree with Mark. I think that the, the level has really stepped up, the quality of the horses, the quality of the riders, the programs, etc. And I think that's, that's what's making it very interesting. It's not that the first place horse is the best, there's many good horses in one class and I think that's where we find our, our first and second and third and fourth places can vary but I think the, the quality of the horses is there. So I think that is really important for the people to understand. Years ago I believe there was a lot less quality so a certain number of horses would always be first, first, first and we would think that was something uh, very special but today I think it's it's very special in a lot of ways for many horses in the pen. And I think that's what's changed in Europe a lot. Uh, what do you like about the DQHA Futurity program? I love, I love raising horses, I love the babies, and I love growing them up. So for me it's, it's a passion and it's a, a strong desire to get horses out to these fraternity classes because it's for me the most gratification is having your own horses born, raised and trained and then coming out to the show pen and being successful. It's, it's my passion. That's the biggest thing to me. And I think you've done a great job in the past years, especially as a foreigner in the German DQHA Futurity program. It was great having you too. I wish you the best of luck at your upcoming classes and I hope to see you again. Thank you. Thank you.